Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5074109 on your Windows 11 computer. Now the first step is to go to Windows update and over here you can see pause, up, pause update option. So hit pause over here. This may take some time and once this is paused, now you can resume the updates. Now resume updates. And now you can check still not working then type in services in windows search box click on services now find app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok Make a right click and then click on restart. Find Windows update. Scroll down at the bottom somewhere you will find Windows update. And then make a double click on Windows update. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. Then click on OK. Again make a right click and then click on restart. And once this is done now you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only click on yes to allow now copy the first command paste it over here and then hit the enter key all the commands are provided in the video description and this will run a scan this will take some time once the scan is 100% complete copy the second command paste it on the same window once the second scan is 100% complete then copy the third command and then paste it on the same window once the third scan is 100% complete over here restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to use microsoft update catalog now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here write down the name of the update that is kb5074109 you can write down the name of the update over here Click on search. Now over here, check your Windows version. So type in WINVER in Windows search box. Click on WINVER run command over here and check your version. In my case, it's, it's version 25H2. And then check the system type. So open Windows settings, go to system and then scroll down and go to about option. And over here, in my case, it's 64 bit operating system x64 based so for me it's windows 11 version 25 h2 x64 based system now if you have windows 11 version 24 h2 x64 then this is the right one for you this is the right one for me now click on download and then click on kb506 507 click on it and then let the download complete once the download is complete you can click on this file and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to fix use fix problems using windows update for this open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then over here uh, go to advanced option and go to recovery option over here you can see fix problems using windows update uh, this will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is complete, you can restart your computer and then check. Still not working. You can use media creation tool. Now for this, you can uh, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, scroll down. And here you can see media creation tool. Click on download now. And then once the download is complete, uh, you can you can run this exe file, run this exe file, and then click on yes to allow, and click on accept over here. By default, Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next over here. Select ISO file over here, and then click on next. Now you can set it to desktop. Click on save, and let the download complete. This process will take some time, and once this is complete you can click on finish and once done let it close automatically it will take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute so once this is closed now you can go to desktop go to desktop 
and then make a double click on Windows ISO file and then make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept over here here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files in app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation you can log into the computer and then you can update your windows 11. so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel